Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how to modify your MetaHumans in Substance Painter. Okay, so we begin with a MetaHuman and what we're going to have to do is export this MetaHuman. So go to the folder where the mesh is and we need to go to Asset Actions and Export. I'm going to make sure this is named and save. This dialog will pop up. I've unchecked a level of detail and I'm unchecking morph targets. And I hit export. Find face color main, which is our base color. I'm going to choose the face foundation blush, blush and mask, the normal and roughness. And I'm going to export these. going to create a new folder to store these in name it textures and I want to save as a target file that's just how I work you can use PNG and I need to set it for each of the files there we go okay there is a cavity map here I don't want to go into this today, it's a more complex process, so I will export this, but I won't be using it today. Again, I'm going to set this to TGA, and I'm going to export this face eye lipstick mask, but my character does not have any makeup, so this is pretty pointless, I'm just showing you how to do it in case your character already has makeup. Okay, we need to open up Blender 3 and let me just turn on screencast keys and I'm going to select everything and delete. Now I'm going to import our FBX head. Here it is. And I'm just going to leave everything at default, probably unchecked on my animation and import. Okay, so zoom in and let's look at our character. Okay, first I'm going to select Root and Alt-P and Unparent and then I'm going to select the Mesh and Unparent and then delete Root and the Null. This leaves us with just the Head Mesh. Go into Edit Mode, go to the top of the skull and press L and H and this will hide. Now select A to select everything and X to delete and delete vertices then alt H and you are left with just an empty head shell if we look inside look there's nothing in there it's just an empty head shell this is perfect this is what we need okay let's export this for use in substance painter I'm going to export as a wavefront obj and I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to leave everything at the default. Let's go over to Substance Painter. Create a new project. I'm going to choose Unreal Engine 4 starter assets from the templates. I'm going to find my OBJ. Here it is. I'm going to set the resolution to 4096 and everything else is fine. Go to imported bake maps and I'm going to import all my textures that I exported from the engine. And hit OK. OK, so here is our MetaHuman head. We have this base layer, I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to come over here, choose project, go to textures. And first I'm going to start with the normal layer. I'm going to drag this in and choose normal. And for projection, I'm going to use fill. And there you go, it fills the whole tile. And I'm going to choose roughness here as the base layer and turn off roughness by setting it to 1. As you can see, the model is no longer shiny. We can choose some other things here, but I'm not going to for the purposes of this. 
Okay, next we're going to choose the base color. So I drag it on top of the tile, choose base color, set the projection to fill. And now I'm going to create a fill there and we're going to call this roughness. And then I'm going to turn off everything. Next, I'm going to add a generator and turn everything off except for roughness. I'm going to choose a grayscale conversion. Scroll down and you'll see this image inputs. Drag the roughness map onto here. Scroll up and set grayscale type to red channel. At this point, you can adjust the roughness if you want. Like so. But I'm going to leave it at the default at 0.5. Okay, so that's the, our base now set up. We can now begin painting on the MetaHuman. So I'm probably going to choose a material now. Let me find something that will stand out. Let's choose this plastic glossy. And I'm going to drag it on and it will fill the whole thing. I'm going to add a black mask. And I'm just going to... Um, I probably should put on symmetry. There we go. And paint on the face like so okay next I want to add something to the eyes maybe so let me find mm, I may do the blush first so add mask with color selection and here it will last for an id mask go to your textures and drag in that face foundation mask this thing here and drag that on top of where it says id mask choose pick color and then you can pick the color where you want this layer to be or the mask rather and then you can make adjustments here like so At any time you can pick another color for example let me just there we go um, I could choose a lips or here the blusher you get the general idea. You can just now create layers that only appear in those areas. I'm going to speed up the video now and I'm going to paint on the character. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Right, next, let's go to the export. The first thing we need to do is choose a directory where we're going to export to. Here's mine. And I'm going to create a separate folder so I know what this is. And we'll call this blue. Okay, next is the output template. We need to create a, a our own output template. So what I'm going to do is select the Unreal uh, Engine 4 Pact and Duplicate. I'm going to rename this um, MetaHuman Tutorial. Okay, and now we need to make some changes to this. The first thing I need to do is delete this Occlusion Roughness Metallic. 
need to add back the roughness and metallic. So let's just delete this one. And I, I may just delete everything except for the base color at this point, and we can just go through it. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to choose this RGB here, which allows us to separate red, green, and blue. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to do mesh, texture set, underscore, roughness, open bracket, underscore, color space, close bracket, open bracket, dot udim. And that's it for that. And then what we're going to do is come over here, grab a roughness and drag it onto R for red and choose gray channel. That's it. Our roughness is now in the red channel of this texture. Click RGB. And what I'm going to do is copy this roughness one and paste here. And I'm going to simply put normal instead of roughness. I'm going to find normal over here and drag that on and choose oops and choose RGB channels and that's it for your basic meta human I would add more to this but if you just want a basic setup this is all you need what I might show you is uh, my preset in a moment, but I would set this over here look to TGA, Targa. Let me open up my preset now. Right, this is my preset. As you can see, I have base color, normal, emissive, roughness, metallic. And this is what I used for the video at the beginning. So let me set my, here it is, MetaHuman, my output template. And I'm going to set this to Targa. Here we are. And this will output now TGA, uh, .tga files. I'm going to leave everything else at the default. Hit export. And that's it. Our textures have now been exported. Let's jump back over to Unreal Engine 5.1. Okay, in my face folder, where I got the original textures from, I'm going to create a new folder. And we'll call this tutorial. And I'm going to import my textures to here. Here they are. There we go. They're now imported. I'm going to do a quick save all. And open up your roughness map because we're going to need to make some changes to it. And if we view the red channel, this is what we currently have. This is our roughness map. What we need to do is scroll down to the bottom of the details panel and find compositing and find advanced. You may need to expand advanced. There we go. And I'm going to add normal roughness to green. for our composite texture we're going to need our normal map we've just imported here it is so select it click the arrow and it'll put it there there we go now we have a normal looking roughness map okay we're going to open up the head material for our metahuman and start assigning these textures now first thing i want to do is find base color here it is, and we choose our base color. Next, I want to find roughness. Here it is. And choose our roughness map. Next, I want to do uh, normal. There's no point doing this metallic at this point. There was no uh, metallic quality in the material. So there we go. Normal. Here it 
is and select the arrow and that's it we're all set up we've now assigned our textures to our metahuman material save and we can come up here to blusher because i did put blusher on inside substance painter and set blusher to zero you probably want to repeat this for eye makeup foundation etc if you put those things on in substance painter anyway here is our finished metahuman right now let your imagination run wild i will do more substance tutorials in the future If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.